bet you didn't know there are compensation plan myths. A myth is something many people believe to be true, but it's not. Compensation plan myths are especially dangerous because they can lead to poor business decisions that can kill or wound your company. In this video, I'll share six compensation plan myths with you. The first one is that simple is better. Almost everyone wants their compensation plan to be simple. There is a widely held belief that compensation plans don't need to be so complex. If only it were so. There is only one good thing about simple compensation plans, and that is they can be explained easily. Other than that, simple plans are bad for your company and for the businesses of your independent representatives. This is because simple compensation plans don't motivate and reward the 12 essential behaviors that we want from your direct selling sales force. If you look at the compensation plans of the most successful direct selling companies, you will see that none of them is simple. The second myth is that most people will recruit. This business is all about recruiting. That means everyone who joins my company, or almost everyone, will recruit other people. That's a fact. Actually, that's a myth. The truth is that most people won't ever recruit, but fortunately, some of them will. For direct selling companies who discourage joining just for product discounts, the percentage who will recruit at least one representative will fall between 15% and 35%. If your barrier to entry is low and people will join just to save money when they order your products, your rate of recruiting will be less than 15%. If your compensation plan is designed based on the assumption that almost everyone will recruit, you will have a big problem. The third myth. Should I borrow another company's compensation plan? If it's good for another company who's successful, then if I borrow their plan, maybe with just a few changes, that means I'll be successful too. Nope, that is myth number three. The compensation plan is an important ingredient in the recipe for success, but it's not the only ingredient. And using another company's plan can't turn out to be can turn out to be a very bad business decision. If you do this, you are assuming your company will make the same decisions that the other company made when its plan was designed. Here's the problem. You don't have enough information to know whether these decisions that were made by others for their company are appropriate for you and your company. So, when can you use another company's compensation plan? The answer is never. The fourth myth is I should build my own plan. For your home to be structurally sound, financially affordable, legally compliant with building codes, and designed to last your family for years as it grows and its needs change, it's wise to have experts design your home and other experts to build it. The average Joe or Jill simply doesn't have the skills and experience to be able to design a compensation plan that will work well to attract and compensate new representatives, encourage and reward leadership development, and provide the ability to generate full-time income and more for top performers. The majority of people did not know, do not know how to design a compensation plan because they don't know the laws. That's why most people don't build their own houses or design their own compensation plans. When a compensation plan is needed, they hire a direct selling compensation plan expert. The fifth myth, I should patent my compensation plan. Did you know that a patent is an exclusive right granted by a government to an inventor to manufacture, use, or sell an invention for a specific number of years? The purpose of a patent is to protect your invention by preventing others from benefiting financially from it. Patents are granted for new inventions 
or new uses of existing inventions. Multi-level compensation plans are built using components, almost all of which have been used before by other companies. So, it would be very difficult to obtain a patent on your compensation plan, unless it was so different from others in all aspects, and if it was so different, it would probably not be very good. You may have read about compensation plans that are patent pending. This means a patent application was filed for a plan. It doesn't mean a patent was granted or even will be granted. Don't waste your time filing a patent application for your compensation plan. The next myth, matrix compensation plans are good. There are different types of compensation plans. One of them is a matrix. Matrix compensation plans operate with a structure that limits the number of representatives who can be placed on the first level of a representative's organization. With a matrix compensation plan, the upline helps to build the downline. This is called spillover. For example, if a company used a 3 by 5 matrix, each representative would have at most three representatives placed on his or her first level. Each of the three positions immediately below a representative can be filled either by the representative himself or by an upline representative. When the first level is full, the sponsor can choose specifically where to place a newly enrolled representative or direct selling software can place the new representative in the first open and available spot. Now, I believe that history is a great teacher. Do you know how many direct selling companies with matrix compensation plans have made it to their 10th birthday? Do you know? The answer is one, and that one, Melaleuca, uses the enrollment structure only for quali uses the enrollment structure for qualification requirements. The matrix structure is used only for placement. Every other company who has chosen to use a matrix compensation plan has lived a very short life. There is a reason for this, and that is, if you tell your representatives that they don't have to work very hard due to spillover, they will listen to you. Not working hard is exactly what you don't want them to do. So, the best way to prevent these and other compensation plan myths from endangering your company is to hire an MLM consultant who's a compensation plan expert to review or design your compensation plan. For more than 25 years, the experts at my company, Sylvina Consulting, have been doing just that. I look forward to the opportunity to talk with you about your compensation plan needs and to help you as needed. Thank you.